Hey guys, it's Brendan here from VDogVZ, and today I have a review on the Bodyguards for the iPad 2. Bodyguards provide scratch protection via transparent skin. They offer protection for a wide range of devices. The advantage of using a skin solution like this is not only the scratch protection it offers, but also with this device, it offers ideal protection in conjunction with the Apple Smart Case, though this solution doesn't offer much drop protection. The application process difficulties vary from person to person. For me personally, the process was rather awkward. I did end up with a considerable amount of bubbles. Because of the iPad 2's curves, the process may be tedious. However, if you take your time with it, you will be happy with the outcome. After the installation, Bodyguards recommends that you should let your device sit for 24 to 48 hours for the general haziness to go away. However, I found that this time was more relative to 72 hours rather than 2 days. Taking a look around the skin here, it offers access to all essential cutouts. Additionally, if you buy the full body kit, it offers protection for the screen as well. In terms of overall skin quality, the skin offers solid protection, although some of the bubbles have not disappeared from installation, which may be user related, though it's really hard to tell. Additionally, there is some orange peel effect evident. Jumping into the pros and cons here, the first thing I like is the style the protection it offers. It's certainly nice to use my iPad 2 without a case on, on some occasions. The second thing I like is the quality of the skin. I've been using it for more than one week and I haven't noticed any peeling that some skins show after this time period. The third thing I like is the warranty that is offered by Bodyguards. If your skin starts to peel or is damaged in general, Bodyguards offers a lifetime warranty. Going into the cons here, there are a few things I found wrong with it. Firstly, expect with all skins of this type, the orange peel effect is prevalent. The orange peel effect basically means that the skin almost feels like an orange skin and not true to the texture of the native iPad 2. Secondly, this might be due to the fact that I bought a first production model, but the cutouts on the skin don't really line up with the iPad 2. This might be due to the fact that there's multiple carriers and there's multiple iPads, but it's still not aesthetically pleasing. I also don't like how the corners are not covered. Overall, the skin is a solid product. With the protection it offers plus the warranty that is on the table, it ensures that you're going to be satisfied with the product for a long time. Rating wise, I'm going to go ahead and give this product an 8 out of 10. If you like this review, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash pdoc underscore busy. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment telling me if you enjoyed this review. If not, feel free to leave some constructive criticism. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.